Hello everyone. We have photographic evidence that China is building more of the Type 075 Landing Helicopter Dock, or LHD for short. These are large amphibious warfare ships with a spacious flight deck for operating helicopters, and a well deck for launching amphibious armored vehicles and small landing craft. China has already built three of these ships, and there were some expectations in the past that more will be built. But these expectations have gradually declined, as for more than two years there were no signs that more LHDs will be laid down. Until now, that is. The Type 075 LHD provides the PLAN with the ability to transport a large marine landing force where needed on a moment's notice, including the undertaking of an opposed landing. The accompanying destroyers would bombard the shoreline and destroy the defenders, while the Type 075 would dispatch amphibious armored vehicles, landing craft, and large numbers of helicopters to secure a beachhead. The ship is around 40,000 tons at full load, similar to the US Navy's WASP class LHD. It can perform anti submarine missions with its helicopters. Although it's probably not very good at that, due to its slow speed. It carries around 30 helicopters. There are two aircraft elevators, one in the middle and one aft, and seven takeoff points allowing near simultaneous takeoff and landing. The ship carries around 1,000 marine landing forces, with 35 amphibious armored vehicles. In the floodable well deck, there are three Type 726 air-cushioned landing craft. In late June, new photographic images began to appear showing the construction of an LHD amphibious warship at China's Hudong Zhonghua shipyard in the middle of Shanghai. The Hudong Zhonghua shipyard builds all of China's Type 075 amphibious warships. The initial images are blurry but we can see the outline of a naval flat-top warship. In one of the very first images, you can see what is essentially the foundation of a carrier-based warship of some sort. The arrow in the picture points towards what appears to be an opening for a deck edge elevator, which led to some suspicions that this might be the long-rumored Type 076 because the Type 075 doesn't have a deck edge elevator on the port or starboard sides. But we'll get onto this later. A far clearer image of the ship under construction appeared in early July, and here it is. According to measurements by PLA watcher Horobio, a highly informed and respected commentator, at least more than I am, the incomplete hull has the dimension of a Type 075. Its width measures 36.2 meters, which corresponds to a Type 075. It remains uncertain what the length of the ship is, because we have only seen one module of what is presumably a larger vessel. But at least in terms of width, it appears to be the Type 075. Because we know this is too large to be a frigate, or the Type 071 landing platform dock. And we also know that the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard does not build full aircraft carriers. For a long time now, reports have been circulating that China will build a total of 8 Type 075 LHDs, based on the claims of a retired naval officer. But for the past several years, there have been no indications of more vessels on the way. It is only in the last few months that we have seen evidence of an intention to expand the fleet of LHD warships. There is the possibility that this may be a Type 076 LHD, the successor to the Type 075, especially given the presence of a deck edge elevator on the port side. The Type 076 is expected to feature electromagnetic catapults to launch fixed-wing aircraft, including a large complement of unmanned combat aerial vehicles. However, based on measurements around the dimension of the hull, it seems more likely that this is a Type 075. 
and it is entirely possible that a new elevator has been added on the second batch of the class. The 076 could have a similar dimension, but we don't know that yet. China has been preparing and training its three active LHDs through several different methods. Firstly, they've been taking part in blue water deployments away from the confines of the first island chain. In early July, the Type 075 LHD, the Guangxi, accompanied by a Type 052D destroyer, sailed past the Japanese islands between Kyushu and Taiwan. The two Chinese warships transited the Osumi Strait, which lies between Kyushu and the small island of Tengashima, before entering the Philippine Sea for a training exercise. There they were joined by a Type 054A frigate and a Type 903A replenishment ship. The Chinese warships were continuously monitored by the Japanese fast attack craft, the Shirataka, and a P-1 maritime patrol aircraft of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. This is apparently the first time that a Type 075 amphibious assault ship has crossed the Japanese Straits and into the Western Pacific, and also the first time that the Guangxi, the second of the Type 075 class, has broken the first island chain after the Hainan, the first ship of the class, has done the same. In March 2023, the Hainan moved from the South China Sea into the Western Pacific. The voyage lasted over 30 days and traversed 9,000 nautical miles. That was the first time the Hainan conducted a far sea training mission as well. According to Chinese media, both the Guangxi and the Hainan have attained full operational capability, partly as a result of these training exercises. The Anhui, the third Type 075 ship, will also hold similar exercises in the future. While on these training deployments, the Marines helicopters and air-cushioned landing craft carried by the LHD conducted integrated operations. The ships and the aircraft took part in intense live-fire drills, exploring the limits of weapons and equipment, maneuver and tactics. This training aims to prepare sailors for unpredictable situations in far seas operations, where they cannot expect to receive timely support from land-based forces, and where they might have to confront foreign vessels and aircraft at short notice. This requires a high degree of training and prudent judgment. That will be all. See you next time.